Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, aka Scotty Business. Today, I want to ask you a very important question, which I think will bring a lot of insight and context to the whole conversation around cryptocurrency, blockchain, Bitcoin, etc. Do you understand Bitcoin? Do you understand how how Bitcoin works? Do you understand how cryptocurrency works? Do you understand how blockchain works? Do you understand how blocks are made, how it's all created, barely anyone does, right? Only like less than 1% of the global population really understands what this is and what and what's going on. Here's the good news. You don't need to understand. You only need to know how to use it. And I'll explain with a very sim- with another really simple question. Do you truly know how the internet works? A lot of people say, yeah, I mean, I go on and I use the web browser. It's like, no, 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 no. You understand how to use it. Do you know how it works? Do you know how DNS solves addresses? Do you know the difference between IPv4 addresses and IPv6 addresses? How many of them are there? What are the seven layers of the OSI? I went to school for four years for networking and IT security, and I can very confidently say that 95 plus percent of the global population probably knows nothing about the internet. And that's fine because you don't need to know to use it. Can you tell me how email protocol works? What What's HTTP and HTTPS? What do they stand for? What's the difference? How do they affect your usage of the internet? All these different things. No one, barely anyone knows, right? You don't need to know though to use it in the exact same way that most people don't know the all the intricacies of how an engine works and how an how a car works they know how to use it it's a lot more complicated that's why we have licenses but it goes the same for basically anything do you really know how all the like all the software in your computer works or your phone it's like well you could maybe tell me some things but it's like okay what if we get down to the arithmetic level like what do you truly truly know about anything that we use that is complicated because every because a lot of people will say well i don't understand bitcoin therefore you know it's not something i'm going to be concerned about it's like well you don't understand 90 plus percent of everything that you use every single day children understand how money works and how they use it at least but they don't understand inflation and all the many, many different aspects of, of our economy, but they understand how to use money that you transact it and you get something in return. When I was five, I understood that if I could, you know, like convince my parents to give me $2, I could go and get candy or whatever. I think as long as you understand how anything is used, you're pretty much good to go for the most part. Obviously, I'm not saying like it, like there's obviously exceptions, but in the for the most part in general, as long as you understand how something is used, you don't you don't need to know how it works, like all the intricacies and and the infrastructure and how everything works. Babies understand at the very least how to breathe because it's innate and they don't need to understand how lungs work and neither do you. You don't need to understand anything about human biology to function your body. Uh, You don't need to know how to grow your fingernails or how to grow your hair. You just do. And I think it's a very, very important point to point out because a lot of people, again, will say things like, well, I don't understand Bitcoin. Therefore, you know, I don't trust it or whatever. People said that about the Internet. People said that about almost every single major advancement in technology. Originally, people said, I'll never use email and all these different things, all the different technological advancements we've had in the last, well, forever, probably. I mean, obviously, I don't think this is just related to like the information era or recent technology. I'm sure this is just human evolution and how people are always hesitant to trust something at first because they don't understand it or fully grasp it. But I would say that people still don't understand most of those things. And just because a lot of people use them and we understand how to use it, that we've gotten past that, that original fear. And as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies become easier and easier to use, we're going through the exact same phase 
from the internet when they switched from using IP addresses, which no one was using because it was complicated, to, oh, maybe we need human readable domain names. And then everyone started using the internet. People wouldn't have gone on facebook.com or MySpace if it was 172.198. You know, and no one would remember that. And and if you had to navigate pages by changing your URL and not by like clicking on the screen, everything that made all of this possible was simply user-friendly changes. That's all it was. Just like simple changes to make it more user-friendly. Everything still stayed the same. Like it was the same underlying product. They just made it more user-friendly and that's all it took. So in the same way that when I used to code websites from scratch and it was extremely time consuming and I got paid a lot of money because no one else could really help them. And even if they needed small changes, they needed me. And now everyone just uses like WordPress or similar website building applications. But again, they don't know how to change very intricate things or, you know, edit the code because they never really thought they needed to. And for the most part, they don't really need to know how to do those things. Maybe then they might consult someone who's an expert or whatever it might be. But the point being that for the most part, you don't need to understand how these things work as long as you know how to use it. That's the only thing that matters. So moving forward, when you consider this, it's relevant to is Bitcoin, is blockchain really going to be the next big thing? Are people really going to adopt it? Is it really going to go the distance or is this just some fad, some phase? That's what people said about the internet. And now it's a huge joke when people say it's like, oh, remember when people thought internet was just going to be a phase? Remember when people thought blockchain was just going to be a phase? Maybe you're, you're, you're still hesitant to invest. I understand. But in the long term, it's absolutely going to be a part of society. It's going to be relevant as it gets more and more user friendly. Like we're recent, like I said, we're in the same phase of when the internet switched from IP addresses to domain names. That's happening right now in crypto. That's why it's so similar and so relatable. And people say blockchain is like web 3.0. So it is, it, it's very, very similar in terms of how that happened and how that progressed and all the new applications and different things being built on top of that and what that's going to look like in 10 years. I think ev almost everyone's going to be using it in some capacity, whether or not it's being used in the background and you're unaware of it, or it's just super user friendly and you're able to use it with no problem without needing to understand, regardless of how it gets implemented. It's going to be there and people are going to be kicking themselves for not investing now. Again, this isn't financial advice, but you're going to see this happen. And I'm, I'm almost undoubtedly sure that this is the case, that Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrency is going to be extremely, extremely relevant. It's only going to become more relevant over the next several years because it doesn't matter if you understand. And I think people really need to grasp this, that I just made a video two days ago. Most people don't even understand regular currency, fiat currency. They don't understand inflation and and how uh, if they're saving 1% a year, uh, like getting 1% interest on their savings, but inflation is 1.8%. They don't understand that they're losing 0.8% of their wealth because there's more zeros in their bank account, but it's worth less. Most people don't even understand that. So most people don't even understand money, but they're able to use money and everyone's adopted it. And the point being that you don't need to understand Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrency. And even though it's very technical and confusing, it doesn't matter if you don't understand people are going to be using it. And the more people that do, you're just going to be eventually playing catch up. So my the point that I will leave you with is that I highly encourage you to get the basics learn the basics, maybe just creating a wallet and being able to send and receive Bitcoin or, or some other coin. As long as you just get the very, very basics of how to use it, you're, you're going to be well, well ahead of, uh, of everyone else who's struggling to figure it out. And, um, and it's just a very, very important question to consider or, or just a great talking point for when someone tells you, yeah, but I don't understand it. So I don't trust it. I won't use it. No one else is going to use it because it's so confusing. 
you can explain to them that most people don't understand most things and we still use them. And with that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think about people not fully understanding how things work, which is most things and still being able to use them? And then how does that apply to Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptocurrency? Let me know your thoughts on this. Also, if you watch to the very end, I appreciate you for doing that. Make sure to comment hashtag number one ham. So I know you did watch to the very end um, and I appreciate you. Have an amazing day. I'm Scott Cunningham, make a Sconcy business signing off. Cheers. Thank you.